Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about how it uh, seems like the pendulum's swinging a little hard here. Uh, Kevin Hart talking again about how he will not host the Oscars because nobody can take a joke. And uh, not to be outdone, Robert Downey Jr. is still doubling down on, on standing by Tropic Thunder. And he said, you know, people basically can't take a joke anymore. So everybody needs to chill the hell out. But I think I think we're gonna see more and more of this. Um, you know, especially after <laughs> especially oh, after yes. Joe Coy's uh, uh awful Golden Globes. Uh, you know, we'll talk about the reaction to that because we got the Mary Sue saying, you know, we can't make fun of Barbie now or something. They can't not live through an award season with sexist Sex jokes, jokes by Barbie. Barbie. Well, that's one reason reason not for me. Let me start writing some jokes. She's got big boobs made of plastic. They're fantastic. That's not a sexist joke. She's a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Ken doesn't have a dick. She doesn't care. She doesn't need anybody but herself. Whoa. <laughs> That's what the kind of the movie? What kind of Barbie is that? Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com. I'm not going to pull it up. Uh, you've got a couple hours yet to back Crimson Wren Volume 1 and previously on Clownfish TV. Two graphic novels that are done, printed, ready to ship. We'll be shipping some more out on Tuesday. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, yeah, so let's talk, let's talk about this. It's Sunday. We're kind of like chilling out today, so we're not uh, doing a lot of hard, a lot of hard news, but... Uh, We'll, we'll talk about this. Uh, Variety had a couple articles up today. Basically, uh, you know, having some some uh, notable personalities push back against uh, cancel culture and uh, how we're not allowed, you know, calling out how we're not allowed to be funny anymore. Mm -mm. And that is an ongoing, that is an ongoing theme. Uh, this one here says, Kevin Hart says he won't host the Oscars ever again. The award shows aren't comedy-friendly environments anymore. No, they're not. I mean, everybody gets so darn offended by everything yeah so they asked him if he was no, he was there at uh, 2019 and then they tried to get right. him canceled right they tried to get him canceled said he was homophobic or transphobic or something and he was really pissed about it. i remember he was pissed about it and uh he was speaking to sky news and they were like well are you ever going to come back he said whatever little hope you had i want to destroy it right now those gigs aren't good gigs for comedians it's no shot to the Oscars, no shot to the Globes or anything else. They're, they just aren't comedy-friendly environments anymore. I think they got right one year where it was like just a bunch of personalities acting as the host, and that's a nice thing. It's a collaborative thing. Different people get to be responsible for Act 1, Act 2, Act 3. You know, the days of it being a room for a comic, those days are gone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they said you cannot be funny. They said, you know, some people can still get away with it. Chris Rock, uh, Ricky you, you Gervais. Yeah, remember what Chris Rock happened to Chris Rock? Yeah, that didn't that didn't no. go very. That didn't land very well. The punch no. landed, but uh, yeah, yeah, well, kind of, yeah, kind of. But um, yeah, I think it's interesting. They're asking him that, and then at the same time, we've got Robert Downey Jr. You know, it's like they ask him every every once in a while to see if he's he's uh, gonna recant. He's learned if he's learned he's his been lesson. Learned. Have you learned your lesson yet, Robert? Uh, no, he said he still stands by Tropic Thunder for railing against tropes that aren't right. Uh, things have gotten very muddied with audiences. Talk about this, because one thing he pointed out I thought was pretty awesome. Uh, he said that people have a clickbait addiction to grievance. Uh -huh. But um, here's what he said. He was on Rob Lowe's podcast. So Rob Lowe's doing a podcast. A podcast? Now. Who doesn't have a podcast now? We do. <laughs> uh, we're working on it. But um, yeah, he was talking about... Uh, all in the Family and Tropic Thunder, he said both works shine a light on tropes that are not right and have been perpetuated for a long time. Yes, it was a joke. That was the point. The, it, was, it was supposed to be like, this is wrong. Don't do it. Yes. You know, never go full retard. Yes. Uh, never go full thing, blackface. Right. And that was the joke. The joke was, the, the message was, I guess the joke was a message, which was, this is, this is, these people are terrible people. Yeah. Don't do this. These people are, it's just, it's just um, like a caricature where they took like the, 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 the shitty things and exaggerated them to show you how extra shitty they are. That was the point. Uh, you know, it's interesting though. He said that uh, people didn't get the joke. He basically says the people that don't get the joke are low IQ. He said they're not, they're not in on the joke. 
He said it faced uh, all in the family faced criticism simple from those who Jack. simple Jack, <laughs> they're simple Jack. Oh my God. Simple Jack. Simple Jack is watching uh, your, your movie here. Um, yeah. They faced criticism from those who weren't seeing the bigger picture. Uh, so this is what I say. So I was looking back at all in the family and they had a little disclaimer that they were running at the beginning of the show. He said, um, he said, people should look it up exactly what it is because it's an antidote to this clickbait addiction to grievance that people seem to have with everything these days. All in the family, I mean, for all this talk of how progressive these new showrunners are, and I mean, Norman Lear was doing it back in the early 70s, and he was able to laugh at everybody, but he got the point across because first and foremost, he was kind of entertaining us as well. But like Archie Bunker, you know, wasn't just a caricature of a racist problematic guy he actually was a human being he had his good qualities too and that's i think that's one of the differences we don't see in entertainment today it's like you're just the maga man it's kind of like okay with education when you teach when you're teaching you're supposed to make it relatable so that that you know students can um you know personalize what you're teaching them so they can they can and they can internalize it like um if you show them something that they all understand and that they all can relate to their own lives, they're more likely to, to understand it, to be engaged, etc. So those shows, it was like they were very relatable, fun shows that got you engaged while teaching you a lesson at the same yeah. time. Now they're just sitting there preaching at you and lecturing at you and telling you you're a shitty person and you're just tuning them out because you're bored out of your fucking mind. And that's what they're doing. It's the same thing as like education. You're, when you're lecturing at somebody, they're less likely to retain it and to listen and to learn anything than if you're trying to be engaging and involved and and you're trying to make it um, personal to those people so they feel like there's, you know, a connection in some way. And they're just not doing that anymore. They're just busy lecturing everyone and telling them they're crap if they don't relate to a character. Yeah, so here, here's the disclaimer they actually had on All in the Family. They had to spell it out because they probably got complaints. They, you know, people, oh, I'm sure. Because they're some, stupid. Some, like, one person and their five friends went and complained. It's, it's like Twitter today. That's, that's, you know, what I'm saying? Like, you have to put disclaimers up and you have to, like, spell everything out for the simple jacks out there. But it said the, the program you're about to see is all in the family. It seeks to throw a humorous spotlight on our frailties, prejudices, and concerns by making them a source of laughter. We hope to show in a mature fashion just how absurd they are. That's, that's what they're trying to do. Yeah. He said the reason they did this was to show in Tropic Thunder that this is bad. Blackface is bad. You know, uh, going full retard is getting yes. awards for it. It's, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> so. You know, it was, but it was also, I think it, it, it cut a little too close to the bone because the whole movie was a send up of Hollywood. Hollywood Which is culture, why they were pissed. Which is why they're the pissed. And now everybody else is pissed. Yeah. So, um, you know, they keep trying to get him to recant and uh, he refuses to do it. Uh, he just won't do it. You know? Um, in my defense, Tropic Thunder is about how wrong blackface is. So I take exception, you know, sometimes you effed up or whatever. Uh, he says black friends, 90% of his black friends said, dude, that was great. I can't disagree with the other 10%, but I know where my heart lies. I think that it's never an excuse to do something that's out of place and out of its time to me. It was, uh, to blasted the cap on the issue. Yeah, it was it. Tropic Thunder. I just saw it the other day. They're still running on TV, which is so weird for being so problematic. They're still running it. And it's, it's, it's pretty damn good. Like, I mean, they send everything and they just like rip the freaking bandaid off mm -hmm. and, and it's not to glorify. They're just like, just to show how stupid it is and how, uh, uh, self-centered. See, that's the difference between you know, like, is. that's the difference between like that, that movie and the, what they were doing. Cause they were, their point was, this is really shitty. Don't do it. As opposed to like, you know, certain celebrities or political leaders wearing blackface for Halloween or just to be assholes there's a difference like they weren't you know trying to teach a lesson they were just doing because thought it was funny there's a difference yeah so he's he won't apologize he still won't apologize good. for it. good don't don't because you know and plus you know it it was something that was done years ago they would never do it today they could never do it well i don't know south park does it pretty much every week though don't they i don't do they they get away with this kind of stuff pretty much all the time so but it's a cartoon so the uh, Golden Globes came and went and uh, Joe Coy made uh, some jokes that uh, some of them landed and some of them didn't. And this is probably why it's it's coming up now that they're talking. They were like, you know, can we be offensive? Can we say things? But no, his, not because these, these people cannot stand it. <laughs> they can't stand it. Well, case in point. So I don't know if she actually feels this way or not, but we got Rachel Weishman over the oh, Mary Sue. Oh, she loses her shit over everything. She's mad about men thinking that they're actual fans, that they're the fans and the women, you know, are new to the franchise, but basically just 
being a hypocrite throughout the whole article. I can't live through an award season of sexist jokes about Barbie. Well, everybody start How grabbing your you? jokes because, you know. How dare you pick on poor Barbie? Talking about how uh, Koi had a ton of terrible jokes and uh, Barbie was just a plastic doll with big boobies. How how dare? How dare he? No, but it was a funny joke, though. It was funny because it was like Oppenheimer was based on this big this book and then Barbie was just a, a doll with boobies. And I was like... It was funny. It was that's funny. It's funny now. Everybody knows the movie's more than that. It's a feminist Isn't manifesto. Though, basically, it just seemed like it was it's part a of a good movie. movie, and then the rest of it was just like any lessons learned. They just threw out the window at the last minute, so nothing was you know nothing was learned. She said, "What uh, hurts hurts her the most is knowing that this is probably not going to be the worst of it. At least it wouldn't be if people found that joke to be funny. If that audience had laughed at his attempt to minimize Barbie, we surely would have ended up with everyone trying to capture that same laughter." I thought it was funny, and I'm a woman. <sighs> Reducing Barbie by comparing its origins to American Prometheus, the triumph and tragedy of J. Robert Oppenheimer, isn't helping anyone, especially not people who enjoy both movies on their merits. Yeah, but Barbie was getting his ass kicked at the at the awards. It was. Even more than that, making jokes like this shows a lack of understanding about what Barbie was all about. And you know what the kicker is? People like this, I don't know about this person in particular, people like this are the ones who are bitching about Barbie like three years ago and why they need body positive Barbies because Barbie's toxic to kids. I, you know, I'm just, I, I'm thinking about this and remember for the longest time, if you got upset if somebody destroyed a franchise, say like He-Man or Transformers, or whatever, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just a toy show. It's just mm -hmm. based on toys. It's just a toy commercial. It's Barbie is just a toy commercial with big boobies. My favorite one. It's not real, right? You know that. They're not real characters, not real people. That's not a real thing. What? You know. Are, what? But then they get mad about something that's not real and it's fine. I, I know, right? It's like, come on. But again, the same type of person that's like falling all over Barbie now were the ones that were going on about Barbie being horrible and toxic and terrible role model for girls like just a couple years ago. She says, I, I don't think I can handle listening to people continue to shame this film over and over again because it was based on a toy, on a doll. Oh, fucking kiss my ass. What the? You, I... Mm. Remember all the middle fingers. Remember, remember Shira, like uh, the old Shira. Yeah, it was just based on a toy that men used to fap to. A doll that you all lost your shit over because she it, had they, boobies. Because it was it was unrealistic body expectations for girls. But now, but Barbie's okay. And so is Margot Robbie. Unrealistic body expectations for most women, and no one's gonna look that good. Sorry. And but now you know it's okay because you know the patriarchy. Oh my God. I, I can't just make up your make up your fucking minds already. You know, is the toy movie bad or the toy movie good? Who the hell knows? Just depends on the day of the week. This is I like guess. the same person was like, well, you know, men say women weren't weren't fans of the of Star Wars until recently, which we know isn't true. But they're basically like, you know, they're can put fans in quotes like women aren't fans, but men men are the saying they're the real fans. But in reality, men are the quote unquote fans. The, so you're just talking the, the you're just saying the same thing in reverse. God, what? So saying it's like hypocritical beyond belief. Two comments. And this article's been out oh for over a day. They, probably, they have a few people that suck up, suck up them all the time. There's three. 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 Um, yeah, I don't think anybody's reading the Mary Sue. I don't think anybody's reading the Mary Sue anymore. Can't imagine why. Can't imagine why they're not going to this wonderful website and reading these fun articles. Uh, we're going to wrap this up. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to wrap this up. So there we go, guys. Uh, people are getting tired of it. They're getting tired of it all the way around. And I don't, I don't blame them. I don't blame Kevin Hart. I'd never go back. I'd be like piss off because I know I'm gonna get in trouble. So whatever, you know, I got money. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.